before we get into code, let's look at the tools we need to get started. The first one is make sure you have Node.js being installed. And the installation is pretty simple. Click on the version that you prefer, either the LTS or the current. For me, I have installed the current, but in production, you should use the LTC and that is the most stable one. And after that, we need to have VS Code or any text editor. For me, I have VS Code already downloaded and this is my VS Code. And to make sure that you have Node.js being installed correctly, you can use Node-V to check the version of your Node.js. After this, we need to have Postman. And we are going to use Postman to test our API that we are going to build. And for me, I have Postman already being downloaded. To download Postman, scroll down and under the downloads, let's scroll down here and go to download the app. Click on that and then make sure to select your operating system. And from there, we are going to install what is called MongoDB Compass. The purpose for this tool is that it is going to help us to visualize our data than to go inside our MongoDB account. And if you scroll down here, it says that MongoDB Compass GUI and make sure to select your platform and then click on download and install. For me, I have installed it already and this is my compass. And next step is that make sure you have MongoDB account. And the purpose for this is we want what is called MongoDB connection string to be able to connect from our application. Don't worry, I will show you how we are going to get that one and we are going to use React for the front end. And to be able to create React application, we have a couple of options. Either to use Create React App. But in this video, we are going to use what is called VIT. Meaning that we are going to create React application using this tool called VIT. Alright, and then we are going to use Redux Toolkit for managing global state. Don't worry, I will show you how we are going to integrate this one also. And we are going to use TanStack for asynchronous state management. Don't worry, I will show you how we are going to use all these tools.